yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Yeah, new bike day. Check it out. Just doing a little setup ride on my brand new 2022 Yeti SB 130. Now, I know this will be a shocker to some of you because I've only ridden Rocky Mountain bikes for the entirety of the new millennium. So all of the 2000s, I've only ridden Rockies. That's over 20 years. Long story short, I couldn't get one this year that uh, ticked all the boxes. So here we go, Yeti. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick uh, spin out, do a little uh, setup ride before I do an actual trail ride out in the mountains. I'm living uh, right by Fish Creek, so I've got probably about a 10K loop I can do and just check everything out. Already got my suspension sag set up, pressure set up. Thought I had uh, most everything set up, but uh, you know, a couple little things like headset was all loose, um, like shifter is kind of crowding my grip, so I'm gonna move that back a little bit and uh, see what else I can do. Maybe uh, lift my saddle up just a touch too, just so I have a longer stride and get riding here. So if you don't have a Crank Bros M19, go get one. Because it's got that funky little SRAM tool that you need that star nut. Lever's fixed, that's better. Still feel a little short. The saddle might be a little up angle too. But I'm just gonna get riding because uh, check that out. <laughs> Let's go. So if you're like anything like me, <laughs> first thing you do when you get a new full suspension bike is go bomb down a big hill. <laughs> nice, trying to beat the storm here. So without being a total tech weenie, you guys can look up the stats on the website. What we've got here is the 2022 Yeti SB 130. 130 being rear travel. That's with the Fox Float X. Fox 36 on the front, set up at 150 mils travel. And Infinity Link, of course, you can go geek out on that on the uh, Yeti site. And this one is the C2 model, so it's set up SRAM, basic SRAM setup, GX, code brakes. We'll see if those stay or don't stay. A few cool pieces, bits and bobs we've added. Little Chromag for the homeboys back in Whistler. Hi-Fi stem, I stuck with the 150 because this is a large frame and I was tempted to go to the extra large, but um, thought I'd just add a little extra reach. But these bikes are actually quite long. Um, the BZA carbon bars, picked up some matchy blue chrome grips. <laughs> and trying a new chrome saddle if you haven't been on the lift. I've mostly been riding the specialized power. And so getting used to how long this is, I'm probably gonna have to tip the angle down a little bit because the power had really no saddle in front of me when I was riding. Uh, set up tubeless, of course, DT Swiss, E532s. Got the uh, Minion DHF on the front. Ooh, and the aggressor on the back. That's the stock setup. So we'll try that and see how that goes. If I get tempted, I might go, uh, DHR in the back and go tan walls. But you know, I can't always be one of the cool kids. And then, uh, well, I'm talking about cool kids. <laughs> about blue stems for the uh, tubeless setup. So that's uh, all the tricks and stats I'm gonna give you. Let's go for a ride. But you should definitely check out my Too Cool for School bare paint protection. That's pretty sick. A few extra pieces there. And in the gap here, a little shout out to the one out boys. So pretty much I'm in the city, live right on Fish Creek Provincial Park. Just gonna burn around in all the woods over here. It's about a 10K loop that I've done before in some of my videos. And just do uh, basically a bunch of cross country, kind of single track and uh, get a feel for the Eddy. Let's do it, so excited.
So crazy noise coming from my brake. Mounting bolts weren't secure. <laughs> Problem fixed. <laughs> Not gonna stop because the mosquitoes are killer. <laughs> but the last time I took that on the cyclocross bike, <laughs> it wasn't so pretty. <laughs> Check out how deep this grass is. <laughs> it's gotta be like four feet deep. Crazy. So that was super fun. Last bike I was riding, of course, was the 2018 Slayer, the 27 C70. Um, it was a couple pounds lighter than this bike, believe it or not. But uh, the setup wasn't so different. It was a 160 up front and a 36 and 150 in the back. Yeah, it's not, not as smooth out back with 130. Um, but the front of this can eat up anything that, you know, it rode at 160 at 150, not honestly a big difference. And climbing is great. After I do like a bigger climb, I'm gonna climb up, up that hill in a minute. Um, but I might just go do that loop again. That was super fun. So far, thumbs up. It's all clean. Oh, 5 0. So, like I said, not a technical review, but uh, great first ride. About 12K or 11K or something. Uh, I test for my Fox setup. Used most of the travel. Didn't really hit anything big, so I think if I had a bigger hit, I would have used it all. That's a pretty good setup. On the rear, with only 130, pretty much walking through all of it, so uh, maybe look at. Just keep an eye on that, maybe put some more air. Um, an Infinity Link, I don't know. I've never ridden it before, but definitely easier climbing and less wheel lift off the front, even though my old bike was a 36, um, than the altitude. So pretty cool. Thumbs up, Yeti. Let's go do some uh, rides in the mountains.